only that the RNA grows longer, uh, will result in the seed. So, uh, is it possible to extract a crystal from this huge complex, or is that how we end? So, uh, this, I, I think there's a chance that might be a crystal, and I'll tell you why. Because, first of all, I think we, what Murakami learned how to do is to form a very large quantity, an abundant, very stable complex. The next point, the cryonin shows cryonin only succeeds if it is conformationally homogeneous. In the picture I showed you, only 10% of the images could be used because the remaining 90% are in a different conformation. However, uh, so only 10% could be used and the remainder could not be solved. Uh, however, by manipulation of the structure, we have gradually increased uh, the rigidity and reduced the conformational heterogeneity. And when the cryonin shows that the majority of the complexes are now in a unique state, then that material would be a very attractive object of crystallization. However, the problem is that the structures of very large objects uh, prove very often to be not very amenable to X-ray structure determination. Uh, so let me give you the example of media. Philip Robinson, now I mentioned, has crystallized the entire million molecular immediate. But the crystals are only diffracted about 20 angstroms resolution. That's less useful than structural determination by prior level of uh, We hope by using the newly used free electron laser, uh, which was first built at Stanford and now they're being assembled at other synchrotrons around the world, we will be able to overcome that limitation, but we don't know yet. Uh, and it is and at the end of the day, the structure of very large complexes will be solved to near atomic resolution, but only by cryo-AM, by improving the existing method of rather by this Maybe the last question. <laughs> that was the talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, look, thank you very much. And this